Drake. He's more than just a rapper. He's an icon. An icon who's gone above and beyond the call to ensure that rap isn't just at its best, but that he takes care of those under his charge. Which in some cases includes the entire city of Toronto. Anyway, Drake likes to live large, and though he's had many mansions in his life, he decided to go and make one that just blows the others out of the water. Allow us to show you what's inside this incredible $100 million mansion. Number 10. The Embassy If we're being honest here, you might be somewhat shocked to hear that Drake has spent about half his net worth on a home. But it's not just a home, it's a custom-built home in Bridal Path, Toronto called The Embassy. Which goes to show you just how much Drake honestly views this wonder home that he has created for himself and his friends and his family. This custom house was built for one reason and one reason alone, to give him space and privacy to live his life. Another thought that might come to your mind when you hear this, mainly, doesn't he live in gated communities and other places? And yeah, he does, but neither of those homes are in Toronto, which is his home. So, if he couldn't find a mansion that filled his needs there, he was going to build one, which is exactly what he did, and wasn't shy about proclaiming it in his own way. Number 9. Special Security Now, it's one thing to go and say that a home is your safe space, but it's another to actually reinforce it so that you can actually back up that claim, which of course, Drake did in spades. Case in point, he had his representative go in front of the Toronto Council to get special permission to build his fences twice as high. Think about that. He actually went to a meeting, or at least his rep did, of the city to try and get a law changed for him just so he could have privacy. Furthermore, he paid $1 million to get tall trees put around his place so that people couldn't spy on him, including paparazzi. Drake really does want to feel safe in his home and not fear people spying on him, trying to get pictures of him, and of course, not break into the home. So it's honestly not surprising he went full tilt to make it all work. Number 8. Hobbies If you could have a custom mansion like Drake's, one that has many rooms to fill up, what would you do with them? Obviously, there are basic things to put in, but what about the little things? Would you fill rooms just for your hobbies and interests? If you said yes, then you're just like Drake, because he made sure his home was accentuated with everything he loves, including having a basketball court in the house for him and his friends to play on, because of course he did. He also has a massive private recording studio that is decorated with some of his most favorite things. When you have the money to make the house you want, you make the house you want. Number 7. Awards Room Drake isn't just a rich rapper who has made his mark on the industry. He's a multi-time award winner of various institutions. So where would you go and put such awards in a custom house? Easy. You give them their own room to shine in, both literally and metaphorically. Oh, and before you crack jokes, he has a lot of awards. So honestly, does need a whole room to put them in. Plus, why wouldn't you showcase what you won that proved that your hard work was worth it? If he had just one award, that would be arrogant. He's got a lot to show for his career, so he has a room to show it off in. Number 6. The Sports Jerseys Drake has been a die-hard NBA and basketball fan for basically his whole life, and when he got the chance to be a part of the Raptors organization via being their global ambassador, he took it. He's at every home game he can be at, and many even attribute him to being a reason the Raptors won the NBA title last season. Further, showing his love, he has a room filled with basketball jerseys that he collected over the years, some of which are more than likely very valuable. And they're protected, with each having their own case. Number 5. The Great Room When Drake decides to bring friends over to his house, he takes them to The Great Room, a massive open room with a roof 44 feet high and with furniture and settings that could rival just about any house. Oh, but it gets better because he has a grand piano in this room that was custom made and cost him over half a million dollars. Add to that a replica of the Metropolitan Chandelier and you could tell that Drake really wanted this particular room to scream elegance. Number 4. The Master Bathroom You know it takes a lot for an entry to focus just on the bathroom, but that's honestly because it's a bathroom that has a massive bathtub that is made up of black marble and weighs 
thousand pounds. How did that actually get into the bathroom, you ask? Why, in a massive chunk of black marble. And literally cutting into this one piece to carve out the uberly unique tub. Look, Drake, we get that you love a good bath and want a unique set piece, but really, this is the length you're willing to go to do that? <laughs> wow. Number three, the closet. Drake spared no expense to go and make his closet a cut above the rest, which at this point is honestly something that we should just fully expect from Drake in everything he does. If you think we're overselling it here, <laughs> we're not. He even admitted that you'll find things like gold, diamonds, and more within the inlay of the closet itself. That's something you'd think models or the Kardashians would want to do, not Drake. Number two, saunas and pools. How does a guy like Drake truly relax and unwind in a house that is $100 million in cost? Well, he has options, like two saunas that he can go and steam himself in. Or how about a personal massage room? Still not enough? Drake has easy access to an indoor and an outdoor pool to relax in. So yeah, the guy has options as you can see. Number one, a singing toilet. Yes. It's true, Drake got himself a futuristic toilet that not only lights up with neon lights, but it plays music for him while he's on his porcelain throne. Why? Because he can. There you go, everyone. A look at the various aspects of Drake's $100 million mansion that make it so cool, so unique, and oh so Drake. Can you believe that Drake went so whole hog on this mansion? Which of its features are the ones you like the most? What else do you think is inside the mansion that we don't know about? Or that Drake won't show anyone but his truest guess? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.